baby off with their song uh, something toy I've forgotten. Teenage toy. Oh, I'm going well so far. Work with me, people. It's going to be a long one. Teenage toy, it's the gas. I blame the gas. Teenage toy, please welcome the virgins. Yeah! <laughs> to the Loft Live, where we're playing Stump the Band all night in our celebrity beer jug. We have, have I done this yet? Yes, before. Have I done? Yeah, I have. Okay, we uh, have got a list of uh, music styles, and uh, we're going to be getting the band to use their play on music and all that to uh, various styles. And the one which will be introducing our first guest, oh, country. is Country. Wow, you can play both kinds. All right, hey, don't get too excited. Easy, easy. I'll put that over there. As we welcome our first guest for this evening, he is the star of Network 10 Soapy Neighbours, where he's known as the character Toadfish. He's a man whose middle name Toaster is a household word. Please welcome Ryan Maloney. <laughs> I'm such a tangled mess. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You? Oh, I'm not too bad. I've got electric heating. You got electric? Oh, I'm a happy camper. Old people on the gas, you see? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want me 25. Yeah, it's okay. It's on, on the way, on the way. Now, Pete Archie, are, are you having a problem? You haven't had a problem with the gas at all? No. At, at your place? No, no. Not your it's... fictional residence, your real one? Oh, um, no. No? No, because, um, well, it's too hot. So I don't need to worry about heating. Um, I use the toaster in the bath, so you know that yes. heats it up. That's cool. Um, but no, like I just don't shower, so that's that's, that's the <laughs> that's answer. The, see, isn't it? It's a nice time of year for people just to go around stinking. Mm. And just go. It's the gas. It's the gas. Oh, my hands are tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What can I do? It gives you an excuse when you're like really smelly in a nightclub. I'm sorry. It's the gas. <laughs> yeah. Are you a clubbing kind of guy? Do you go out clubbing much? Ah. Uh, I do a little bit, yeah, I guess. I generally end up drunk somewhere. <laughs> so, um, not in particular. No? No. Do you, do you get much time? Because it seems you've got a very busy schedule. It's fairly erratic where it's... Uh, how much notice do you get before they say, you're in doing this scene? Uh, you get uh, about a week. That's not much. You get a week. So how do you plan your life? Oh, uh, you plan it week by week. So 
So that's what you do. How do you manage? How do you manage? It's a stressful job. It's hard. But hey, I love it. So, so let's I get say, drink cards when I go places. It's good. Oh, how, do you get recognised a lot when you go places and they go, hey, Toby? Yeah, I do. I yeah. do. I get a lot of that. How do you handle it? Do you like it? Um, I don't mind. Look at the robot's oh, falling Oh, Boz is again. down! He's down! Boz is down! Oh, um, no. It's the gas. It's the gas. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the gas. He's not looking well. Oh, he's down there, Jeff. Forget about it. We'll, we'll, we'll barrel on. Barrel on. We're doing it for the gas. We're doing it for Buzz. Okay? Are you with me? I'm, Fantastic. I'm doing it for some DJ broadcasting thing. <laughs> yeah. Have you, you haven't done DJ really in, in real life, have you? No. Just on the show. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, there's all these buzz, buttons and everything like that. Nothing actually works. Nothing's in the right spot. Oh, it's fantastic. You got to meet Dave Graney when you did that, though. I did get to do, meet uh, did, uh, did, uh, Dave did, Graney. No, minute. Hey, look. Mm. It's Buzz, mate. It's Hang Buzz. In there. Hey, go on. It's the gas. How was, how was Dave? Um, really slow. Mm? He speaks really slow. He's always like, uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that was his thing at the time, was the, uh-huh, uh-huh. So the director would be going, you get Dave, mate, you gotta, you're really angry because he's got your mobile phone, you want to punch his head in, you, you got to get out of here because you've got to go to a gig, you're angry. I says, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> right. give me my phone back, man, or else. And it was... See, mm. where's his Logie nomination? I don't know. He deserves one. He does? He deserves one. Now, I tell you what, one thing you are renowned for is making an impressive Logie's entrance. We had stuff filmed from the Logie's this year you rocked up in a fire truck. Not just a fire truck, but an old one. A vintage fire truck. A vintage fire truck. A vintage fire truck. And the year before that, I had Harleys and, and a bit of an ex escort. And the year before that was the first one, so I just got the limo with it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this, this year um, hopefully should be good. What, oh, what have you got in mind? Well, I'm thinking, last year I tried to get like a little, little motorised car. But no one would let me. A little me motorized one. car. Yeah, a little motorized oh, a little car. Toy like, ones. like a little Jeep or a little Ferrari and yep. just drive in like that and <laughs> hop out like that or something like that. But um, this year, uh, I've got to get in some practice, but uh, a unicycle juggling, perhaps. Oh. Or, um, not going to say too much, but hopefully a magic act. What? Mm. Like some magician rocks up, reaches into his top hat, out comes Ryan Maloney! <laughs> oh! Hey! Welcome to the Logies. Yeah. Where do you go to find a vintage fire truck? Let's say you go, I want to go to the Logies and find a. I buy vintage fire truck. Where do you go? Well, where I live, uh, it's um, it's got a few vintage cars around, and uh, there's there's a specialty garage who who uh, knows all these vintage people. So I got a vintage fire they truck. They were a great band, the vintage people, weren't they? Vintage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Yes, yes. The, hey? Yeah, they were good. Yes, yes. That's one. Yeah. That's one gag night. That's all. <laughs> I've hit my quota. I can go home Just happy. Just leave. <laughs> Patronise me, no! Uh, well, look, do you want to pick out, do you want to pick out a style of music? Mm. Because, uh, to trick the band with. Mm -hmm. So reach in. Or reach you in. could just make up one if you want, but... Uh... Well, we... Oh, do you want to make up one instead? Like this, no, see, because they've put these ones in there. Oh, I like this one. Oh, what is it? Porno music. <laughs> 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 now, was that really one? Yeah, Yeah. See? Oh, it is too! It's spelt differently, but to me it reads porno music. It says porno music. So what you got coming up in the, in the next couple of months other than, do you get a, when do you get a break to go away and do something? Uh, on the 18th of December, mm -hmm. I get a break and I get four weeks off. You so, going, what are you going to do for Chrissy? Uh, I'm going to London. Oh, get out. I'm going to London and then maybe spend a week in Bali. So that'll be cool. Wow, that's a weird choice. Well, are you going from just uh, I'm going to London. Cold. Well, I, I wanted to come back a week early, and like I, I got it today, mm. so I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> I got it today, and the, the, the travel agent said, um, "Well, you're going through Bali, and you, you know, you could stay one night." And I said, "Bali, but that's, that's like really nice, isn't it?" Yeah. And you get really cheap beer, and you get massages on the beach, or apparently according to the neighbour script. Oh but, yeah. But um, yeah. <laughs> you get that. Oh, I'm serious too. Um, you get that. So I thought, hey, I'll spend a week there. Ooh, have fun. Send us so a postcard. No. Okay, that'd be good. I'm not writing to anyone. I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> You're going into hermit stage. I'm going. No one's here. Good work. Well, have fun. And say hi to your bro for us. Ryan Maloney! <laughs> Thanks, mate. Porno music. We'll be back with more after this. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
It's now time to welcome our next guest for this evening. He is starring in the Fringe Festival show. We have not been ourselves in outer space. We are please welcome the very funny Damien Callanan. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought I might start with an uncomfortably long silence. <laughs> Thank you. I might follow that with some incongruous folk dance. This is uh, Michael Flatley's version of the crucifixion. <laughs> uh, I think I finished. Does anyone want to shag? And then we'll finish, follow that up with a fairly quick and topical uh, impression. This is my impression of Victorian supply of gas up to Friday and following Friday. Shh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then we'll move on to a fabricated anecdote, which starts with kind of a temporal anomaly. I was actually um, seeing my therapist next week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't drop your hat. Um, I'll see my therapist and uh, he said that part of my inherent problem as a human being was that I had a repressive childhood. And what I had to do was to reclaim a child. You see, we went right back through all the things that I'd been denied as a kid. You know, I wasn't allowed to stab my sister with a fork. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to wear a Batman costume to Nana's funeral. <laughs> Mum said I couldn't have a space hopper. She said that would... Oh, yeah. Pathos. She said I couldn't have a space hopper because they were too dangerous. She must have, I don't know, she must have seen someone going down the street going, Stop! How do you stop this thing? I'm out of control! <laughs> but fortunately one of my friends had one. He used to drop by on the way to the milk bar and just sort of... <laughs> go down the milk bar. Hop on, I'll dink you. <laughs> Very difficult task. What else wasn't I allowed to do? Wasn't allowed to take my brother's pornos to show and tell? <laughs> show and tell. That was fantastic. What I don't want to know is why isn't show and tell used in our life now? Well, what other opportunity do we have to recognise people's achievements? Why couldn't we have show and tell at work? <laughs> oh, well, uh, Daryl, you're up today. <laughs> oh, yeah, good day. Um, me and um, Snake and Nan and Baz, we went to the Chevron on Friday night and uh, I got me first route. <laughs> <laughs> Um, these are the young ladies' undergarments in question. You can pass those around and have a look. Are there any questions? <laughs> nah, thanks. <laughs> Why not? There were, kind of, there were three kind of show and tellers as far as I was concerned. There was the shower, just the shower. Had nothing to say, it would just go... <laughs> <laughs> and what have you got there, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> then there was the teller. The cutie, you couldn't shut up. I oh, know we can. Well, we went over to Uncle Fred's house and then we decided to invade Poland and then, <laughs> and then Dad decided to have a sex change operation and the Wilsons came off and then they told me to go to bed but I looked through the keyhole. That's enough, Jeff. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then there was the kid who got sucked in. He had to do it. Every week, Thursday morning was his day for show and tell. Never had anything to say. Um, I brought this stick. <laughs> That's a lovely stick. Where'd you get that? I just found it in the playground. <laughs> Can I take it back now? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the other thing was um, I wasn't allowed to do was run around the house in the ruddy nutty. Everyone, oh look, it's sad, isn't it? All I wanted to do was just take the jelly bean for a bit of a run, just, you know, <laughs> just three or four laps of the house in the ruddy. After a shower covered in talcum powder, it was the best thing. It was never allowed. That nudity, that desire for nudity never ever leaves us, ladies and gentlemen, ever. There's three kinds of nudity, life three kinds of show and tell, I work in triumvirates. <laughs> <laughs> There's three kinds of nudity, there's the person who's really proud of their nudity, just... <laughs> then of course there's uh, the person who uh, is slightly embarrassed and just... And then there's me. The person who just goes like that. <laughs> you can't get out of bed and go and turn the light off normally, you can't just... It has to be a <laughs> and back in again. Ah, oh, childhood. It's a crazy time for all of us. So anyway, the therapist told me to reclaim a childhood. So I've been doing all the stuff that I didn't do as a kid. 
I've been pooing in the bath. Uh, I've been climbing in the back seat and getting into the front seat. Went to the show the other day. Bought 29 show bags, didn't go near the animals. Went on the first wheel and slagged on people. I've been doing it all. I've been st- sitting at traffic lights and just staring at people. <laughs> I've been getting distracted really easily. Can I come over there now, Rose? Yes, you can. That's it! Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, come on! Good stuff, hey, mate. Thanks. Have a seat. I will. How are you? I'm pretty good. Have you been hit hard by the gas? Is, is, it, is it a problem with you? Oh, uh, look. Yes and no. Yeah? I mean, all of us have got a little bit of the, uh, the old dart in us, haven't we? Mm. The pominess returns. You know? We don't need to wash. I've got English friends who haven't been in a bathroom for three weeks. They don't even know there's a gas crisis on. So I'm just calling on that. Lovely. Eh? Uh, hey, little art, little pummy shower. Hey. Uh, now, you are starring with I am. the wonderful Lawrence Mooney in uh, We've Not Been Ourselves in Outer Space. Correct. Uh, for the Fringe Festival. Uh, there's your pretty little postcard. I'll just keep holding it there. Now, for those who uh, have, were uh, naughty enough not to see the show during the mm, Comedy Festival, this is a lot. sequel. Uh, not really. We've just hung on to the standard. Our standard mm. name is We've Not Been Ourselves. And uh, we're now in outer space. Whole new story, whole new adventure, exploration of a number of comic genres within the confines of 52 minutes. <laughs> it's just that easy. It is. Now, where's it on for those of us who it's want to It's on see at the it? North Melbourne Town Hall from October 6th to the 18th. Now, have you checked out the venue there? Because a lot of people are on there at the moment. And, uh, what? It's... They could be in my space. No. <laughs> No, I mean, like, uh, as a performance venue, how's it, how is it uh, looking? Now, I, I probably should say it's fantastic. It's shaping up really well, but I've not seen it. Ah, uh, OK. But I'm sure it's great. You're <laughs> sure it's great. Well, uh, Kim's there performing at the moment, so I hope it's There is about right. 30 shows on there. Yeah, it seems to be the it's place It's pumping, to be. yeah, it's great. Well, uh, it's a good show. I recommend people go and see it when it's during the festival, and uh, I'm sure it can only get better. It will, it's particularly a... once it started. Well, <laughs> that wouldn't hurt at all. <laughs> Best of luck with it. Uh, we've not been ourselves. Thanks, Lawrence Mooney and Damien Callanan, yes! Thank you! Before we go... Ooh, I get to pick one. Pick out a type of music to play us off with. I think we might go with a bit of funk. We got funk. All right, well, we're going to be playing a bit of funky music as we say we'll be back with more of the Loft Live after these messages. Oh. Uh, Now time to welcome a man who's been backstage for most of the night but was filling me up during that last segment, Peter Hellier! Mm-hmm. Everything well? Everything, yeah, yeah, good, good. Excellent. How are you? Good, you good. Are you troubled by gas? Well, are I, you I... troubled by gas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I had a shower, uh, a shower back in June, so I'm fine. Oh, right. Yeah. That'll last you at least till Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. So it hasn't really affected me. And... Um, it's a bit weird, but it's weird because um, you listen to Talkback Radio and everybody's ringing up with their solutions, you know, yes. like different ways you can have a shower. It's like everyone's become MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you've got a wok, a vinegar and a porcupine, I'll give you your hot shower. <laughs> now, this is fair income. Someone was telling me yesterday, they said they were listening to Talkback and someone rang up, some elderly lady from out in the suburbs, and she said, look, I don't know if I should be giving away my secrets. <laughs> But I've been having a hot bath by boiling the kettle and pouring the hot water into the bath. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, she's quick. Yeah, yeah, she's too quick, too quick. But it's actually illegal to have, like, hot showers. Yes. Like, imagine being busted for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the police is rocking, drop the soap! Drop the soap! Bang! Bang! He went for the conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. What else have you been up to this week? Anything crazy? Just writing gas jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Got any more? No. It's been a pretty short week. <laughs> now, Adelaide won the grand final. Yes. Adelaide won, which is bad. And back to back to back, and we've had a lot of Adelaide people coming up saying, oh, we won the grand final, we won the grand final, Adelaide won the grand final. But yeah, but you still live in Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be that smug. Yeah, it is. Now, it wasn't that great a game. It started off all right. Yeah. But then, come half time, it just phew, turned into a... A one-sided affair, which is oh, rather depressing in a grand final. You like it to be close. Close and tight. Yeah. yeah. It's not too much to ask. <laughs> it's not too much to ask. 
Shut up. <laughs> now, um, I went and saw the Truman Show today because you were telling yes. me about that. Yeah, we, we've both seen it. Isn't yeah. it amazing that they all die at the end? Yeah, and then he wakes up and it was all a dream. Yeah. Can't oh, sorry for those who haven't seen it. And then just when he's about to die, the monster comes back up and grabs him yeah, again. It's just, it's never, I never suspected the no, butler. Didn't think he would, no, it would have no. been him. No. That, that butler, was that French from a family affair? I think it was. Sebastian Cabot. Is that his name? And Sebastian Cabot. He's there we well. go. I thought now, it was Pavarotti. <laughs> <laughs> he had one of the best beards in the business, great don't beard. you think? Great beard. It was so neatly trimmed. And he used to host some, uh, I think he still does, some like, if you watch... Uh, like Channel 10 or Channel 9, very late at night, he hosts some, you know, mock ghost stories show. <laughs> yeah, mock ghost stories with Sebastian Cabot, best kept beard uh, in the business. Now, you want to uh, grab something for the, the band to play off with? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? And uh, that'll be their playoff, and I'll pick something to play on back from the break with. This is my favourite um, brand of music. This is Acid Jazz Folk. <laughs> I picked, I, up <laughs> I picked up the very oddly titled Heroin. So I guess they play a song and then steal my TV. Is that how, <laughs> is that how it works? Okay. Well, uh, you're going to stick around because we'll wind this baby yeah. up. When we come back uh, yeah. after hearing a bit of whatever it was you picked. Acid jazz funk. And then coming back with a bit of heroin. Back <laughs> soon with more of The Loft Live. <laughs> stick around, please. Now, uh, just a little bit of housekeeping, just to remind everyone, the election is on Saturday, don't forget to vote, and uh, uh, I know it sounds very uh, getting up on my soapbox, but take it seriously, it's a very important election, this one, just have a think before, before you just go ticking any box, although if my name's in there, feel free, just to give me a scribble, and remember, Mr Garrison, that's all I'll say. Um, and in three weeks, we will be having, uh, actually four weeks, I think, we've got four weeks left before we round up season four. So just to let you know, we're coming to an end. So, uh, But hang in there, we won't have far to go. Thank you this week to Ryan Maloney, Damien Callanan and the Virgins. If you'd like to drop us a line, you can at PO Box 12566 Beckett Street, Melbourne, 8006. Or if you'd like to be part of the studio audience and be forgotten about giving confectionery too because Kim's not here this week. Next week, I'll give you twice as many, okay? People watching at home, come in next week, twice as many lollies. What do you say? Yeah? yeah? Then come here to Building 12, a level 2, 360 Swanson Street. It's the place to be. And feel free to visit our website at http colon backslash backslash uh, welcome to dot RMI, backslash RMITV. Check it out. It's at the end of the show. Pretty good too. Sasha's done good work on it. Uh, that's all we have for you this week. Uh, next week, it'll be fun, uh, I believe. Uh, Brian Max is on the show. Oh. And Kim Hope is hosting, although I don't know whether she wants to interview Brian, so he might be on the week after that. Who knows? It's a crazy world. The, the first tape I brought was actually Uncanny X-Men tape. What oh. you give is what you get, which is their first crap one after their good one. <laughs> I just want to see his hairstyle. I'm looking forward to it so much. Uh, that's all we have for you this week. To take us out, the versions with Lovely Together. I've been Rove. Say hi to your mum for me. See you next week. Bye! <laughs>
gonna be alright Lovely together, let's make it right Kiss you all over, don't wanna fight